This video is brought to you by Learn Flutter Code, the platform to learn Flutter and upgrade yourself as a Flutter developer. A future represents an asynchronous operation that has usually two states, the completed and uncompleted. Therefore, this video is about what is asynchronous and the two states and rock climbing. So let's get started. What is asynchronous? So the opposite of asynchronous is synchronous. Yeah. So what is the difference? Well, the difference between asynchronous and synchronous is patience. Yes, patience. So what do I mean by that? Have you had a lousy conversation with two people that are talking at the same time and probably they didn't have patience to listen to one another? And it's probably hard to hear anyone talking. Well, that is actually synchronous. So in terms of coding, imagine there's a print statement that will only print one letter at a time. Let's call it print slowly. And then you have two print statements printing at the same time. However, the output will be a little bit disastrous because the print statement will only print at the same line. Yikes. So what about a delightful conversation that you had? Usually a delightful conversation is where one person is talking and the other one is listening. Why is that so? Because each of them or the people who are listening have patience. And then once the person has done speaking, then another person will continue the conversation. And that is asynchronous. And with the same print slowly function, we will make it an asynchronous function where we will add the future type to our void function. When you use the future type function, you have to add in this await syntax. I will explain it in the later part of this video. But with this future and await syntax, you could see that the output is what you will expect. So the first function that will only run will be the print slowly with the hello string. Once it finished printed out, then the next print slowly function with the world string will print it out next. That is basically asynchronous. Therefore, in synchronous programming is when you have your functions complete its work while waiting for another function to finish. Now we understand what is asynchronous programming. The next thing that I'm going to go through is these two states, the completed and uncompleted. So let's start with uncompleted. I have an example code over here, and this is a future function that returns a boolean, and it is called has finished climbing. Inside it is pretty simple climbing code, and then I have a final variable and it's called finished climbing. And then it's calling the has finished climbing future function. Now, what do you think will happen when we print out this finished climbing? Will we expect a boolean or will we expect something else? Well, when you call a future type function, it actually returns an uncompleted future. Usually it will say an instance of a future boolean. So the future is waiting for the function's async operations to finish or to throw an error. So it's the same as actual rock climbing. When you call a future function, for example, the has finished climbing function, it is something like asking someone in the middle of the climb this question. Hey, have you finished your climb? No shit, I'm still climbing, right? So therefore, we have to be, you guessed it, patient. But these completed states have two states, the success state and the error state. So let's go back to the rock climbing example. In climbing, you have two states, whether you reach to the top of the wall, which is a success state, or you did not manage to reach to the top and you fall, which is an error state. So in programming, when it's successful, it usually returns a value. And when it's not, then it will return an error message. So now we're going to make this line of code over here into a completed state by adding the await keyword. And this allows us to wait for the future 
to finish completion. When we are successful, we will manage to reach to the top of the wall. I mean, we will able to get a value out of it, which is the boolean true. Or otherwise, for some reasons, we will have an error that usually says exception, and then we have an error message of why the error state happens. So before I go to the summary, I want to talk about your future, my future, everyone's future. So everyone's future or everyone's progress has two states: success or failure, and either one of these is guaranteed. However, the choice that we make after future that either succeed or fail will determine our future. Hmm. So if you fail and you keep trying again and again and again and again. You will eventually reach to the top of the wall and succeed. Or if you think to move to another wall to climb or to choose another path, you might have a better chance in succeeding. In life, there is no right or wrong way to do it. There is only one way, which is up. So, in summary, we have learned what asynchronous programming is, the two states, completed and uncompleted. And the two states inside the completed state, success and error, and how rock climbing can actually change your life. Just kidding. How we are able to relate asynchronous programming to rock climbing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, this is something new that I'm trying out. Subscribe down below and comment down if you think this video is something that you look forward to or you prefer my previous videos where it's just a lot of slides and animations. I just want to hear how the video is. Stay safe, wear a mask, and all the best. Bye bye.